Problem number 47 of section 1.6.1 asks us to find, or asks us to show whether an inflection point exists for the function g of x, which is defined here. Now, to find the inflection points, we first need to compute the second derivative. So, if we start out by computing the first derivative, we see that g prime of x is 3x squared plus uh, 2 times 3, or 6, ax, and plus uh, 3a squared is the constant here because our uh, function g is in terms of x. We're taking the derivative with respect to x. So this term just becomes 3a squared, and the derivative of a constant is 0. And the second derivative will be 6x plus 6a. Now we can factor out a 6 here. Which will leave us with 6 times the quantity x plus a. Now to find the inflection points, we need to find when does the second derivative equal 0, and also where is it undefined. Well, this um, particular Second derivative is defined everywhere, so we only need to worry about the points at which it's zero. Now, once we find the points at which it's zero, we need to check, okay, does it go from negative to positive or positive to negative at that point? Uh, the sign of the derivative, that is. All right, so first off, let's see if this is equal to zero. That implies that x is equal to minus a. And now let's just take a look at this. So we have a here, we see that if x is greater, uh, excuse me, minus a, we see that if x is greater than minus a, then the sign is going to be positive. And if x is less than minus a, the sign will be negative. So it goes from concave down, because the sign of the second derivative is negative, to concave up because the sign of the second derivative is positive. So the point x minus a is indeed an inflection point.